Mad Men takes place in early 1960s New York City. At Madison Avenue advertising firm Sterling Cooper. That's Don Draper. He's a brilliant ad man who's got away with words. I sell products, not advertising. The day you sign a client is the day you start losing them. The universe is indifferent. Don's a direct guy, sometimes too direct. He's got a wife and kids at home. But he sure spends a lot of time in hotels with strangers. Don's got a secret past he keeps under lock and key. His wife, Betty, found the key. So that's not good. Betty used to be a model. Now she's a mom. I'm here all day. Sally, go watch TV. I hate this place. It's not really her thing. Oh, then there's Joan. Joan gives good advice. Go home, take a paper bag, and cut some eye holes out of it. And she doesn't put up with any nonsense. No dull moments or dull men tolerated. She's hot when she gets angry. Actually, she's hot when she does anything. That's the boss man, Roger Sterling. Roger's an optimist. When God closes a door, he opens a dress. And an enabler. We drink because it's what men do. Plus, he's rich enough to afford a Greek statue and an ex-wife. He made a killing when Sterling Cooper got bought by Brits. Bravo. But there were some difficulties. So the Brits sold it. Fancy that. But Don figured out a way they could keep their business and start a new company. We have to steal everything. So that's what they did. Now all they have to do is rebuild their entire business from the ground up with minimal staff, limited resources, and a hotel room. What a joke. And I gotta think Don and Betty have to get back together. Are you sure? I don't know, but there's bound to be more boozing, more smoking, and more of this. Ow! So don't miss it. Mad Men, the new season, premieres July 25th.